What an ending to Hollywood's biggest night. You guys, we are here to talk about the Oscars, especially that now unforgettable ending that we all just watched. I'm Lauren Zima. I'm Ashley Carlson. <laughs> and I'm Deidre Behar. <laughs> Ashley is very blown away right now. <laughs> Honestly, I, I'm not gonna, I have like anxiety yeah. just thinking about that moment. No, no doubt very highly stressful. <laughs> yes, you guys. So the Oscars just ended. And if you've missed it, the wrong movie was called for the Best Picture winner. It was announced as La La Land, but the actual Best Picture winner was Moonlight. We lost, by the way, you but, you know. Guys, guys, <laughs> I'm sorry. No, there's a mistake. This, there's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. Moonlight won. Come on, this is not a joke. Come this on. is not a joke. I'm afraid they read the wrong thing. This is, this is not a joke. Moonlight has won Best Picture. Moonlight, Best Picture. Crazy. So to explain briefly, what you guys just saw was the uh, casting crew of La La Land had come up to accept the award, and then a stage manager came out on stage. Uh, Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway were on stage to announce the Best Picture winner. La La Land people come up. Stage manager then comes out and seemingly communicates that the wrong name was read off the card. I mean, we're, how blown away were you? I mean, you could see when they were they were giving full acceptance speeches. By the way, they got yeah. really far in mm -hmm. their acceptance speeches, and you could see the stage manager kind of rustling around in the background and. Somebody in the office even called that out. They were like, what's happening in the background? You can mm -hmm. feel this commotion happening. And then all of a sudden he was like, we lost, by the way. He, he seemed <laughs> very tense. Yeah, it, no doubt. I'm still sitting here trying to process it in my brain. And like you just said before, Yeah, I don't even anxiety. know what I'm saying. I'm like, I, I have anxiety. And, you know, I understand there's this whole, like, argument of it's just an award show. Let it go. Live TV. Things happen. But I was just telling you in the dressing room before, this is the Oscars. You get one shot, hopefully one shot in your life, to go up there to say what you mean, mean what you say, and, and earn your award. And I feel like it was wrongfully you know, just taken away from them when they thought that they had already had that glimmer of glory. Well, we were talking, I don't think this, I can't remember certainly this ever happening in the history of the Academy Awards. No, I no, mean, just, just Miss Universe. Yeah, this Steve happened with Harvey. Steve Harvey, right. yeah. And you know what I did appreciate about the, uh, whoever was behind the camera, though, is that they zoomed in. Because at that point, you really have to show people, no, Moonlight is on the card. I, I didn't know, I was like, are they pulling, like, the Adele, where they're like, no, we're not taking, we can't accept this, it's Moonlight. Oh, I, that's interesting. I originally thought that was happening for like a split second until they actually showed us the card. It. I mean, I think we have to just take a minute to give kudos to Jimmy Kimmel, who really, I think, thrived in yes. the heat of the moment. Mm -hmm. And he was so self-deprecating and just blamed it on himself and was like, I'm never coming back. This is all my fault. Obviously, it had nothing to do yeah, with him. Yeah, he said, I knew I would screw this show up. <laughs> I knew I would screw this up. And, you know, and I have to give also kudos to Warren Beatty, who I think mm -hmm. kind of handled it very elegantly. He did not intend on standing up there and explaining himself and this whole momentum. But you could see that, you know, when he was looking down at the card there was some you know the wheels were spinning something didn't feel right right we were all kind of wondering because Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway were up there uh, you know co-stars in Bonnie and Clyde and they kind of looked at each other for a second as Warren was opening the card and we all thought why are they staring at each other in silence this is we so were yelling at the TV we yeah. were like just say it Warren right <laughs> and then seemingly what happened which Warren explained after the La La Land guy said no moonlight you won get up here seemingly what happened is that at some point the envelopes might have gotten switched Warren said that he was confused because he looked at the envelope and saw Emma Stone, La La Land, and she had just won for Best Actress. Right. And so I just guess... just assumed. He, they just then read La La Land, him and Faye Dunn. It was crazy. <laughs> you know, I guess if there's any sort of silver lining in all of this, it's that Damien Chazelle won, Emma mm -hmm. Stone won. They got a chance to, to speak their piece. What? They, no, no, I'm, I'm <laughs> oh, with you. I'm just saying they did a, win a lot. lot. Yes, mm -hmm. they did. So we can't take that away. I think... I think it was kind of a magical moment for Moonlight. Barry Jenkins did such an eloquent, amazing job speaking in that moment. Certainly not the circumstances he thought he'd ever mm. accept that award under. It's uh, Hollywood's biggest night. It's the end to award season. I don't know. You know, though, I will say this is a moment we will not forget. No. History. Live TV. Uh, really a wild moment, you guys. That uh, twist <laughs> should be nominated next. Yes! <laughs> that was like A really cute moment. Do you want to take us through this Dev Patel, Andrew Garfield thing, Ashley? Because I'm oh you're my such gosh. a Dev Patel okay, fan. Well, well, I don't know if you guys have heard, but I'm a huge fan of Dev Patel. Um, he didn't take me as his date. He took his mom instead, but it's okay. I you were unavailable. You were here. I, I have, to, I have work to do, yeah. but um, also subbing in for me is Andrew Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> There's this moment they had where they just like really longingly looked into each other's eyes. I mean, do we have a peek of that moment? Oh my gosh, yes. I, I mean, love, talent. 
<laughs> souls connecting. At first, I thought this was going to be the viral moment of the night. Obviously, the ending has probably eclipsed it. But the tour bus gag. Oh, so good. Jimmy Kimmel brings these regular <laughs> Joes, regular folks, out into the Oscars room. And Gary went viral. Gary's uh, a star. <laughs> oh, Gary, Gary is a star. Gary's a star. He and his fiance potentially being married by Denzel Washington yes. at their July 19th wedding. I mean, could you imagine coming to L.A., booking your trip, and then this being the outcome? <laughs> by I the just way, can't. they just walked them in there without telling them where they were going. Zero yes. idea. These people had no idea. So then you see Gary there with the purple the purple phone case just taking <laughs> selfies with everybody. <laughs> Jimmy's like, you can put your phone away. Like, this is being recorded <laughs> right, for you, by right, the way. Right, right. But the best is when, when he Jimmy starts to introduce him to all the actors, he just, Gary goes for it. Goes. He's grabs the Cole Cameron's hand, kisses her hand, oh kisses Octavia Spencer's hand. I mean, Did he ask Mahershala Ali to take a photo? Handed his yes. phone to Mahershala Ali and says, here, take a picture of me with your Oscar. Oh, oh my god! But I mean, get in it, whatever. But, I think, I uh, feel like Ellen DeGeneres did set the bar a couple years ago when she hosted, and she took that selfie, and she delivered pizzas, pizza. and so now hosts of awards shows are like, how can I do something really different? But this, I loved. This it, was it, amazing. It was amazing. Should we just end it on one of our favorite couples, John Legend and Chrissy Teigen? Yes. <laughs> we need not say more. Yeah. <laughs> I love them. Oh my god, she was like sleeping throughout the show. Oh she my was god. cracking me up. You guys, look for that. I mean, people took screenshots of Chrissy seemingly falling asleep. Seemed during like she was show. sleeping. Uh, John, <laughs> we were interviewing them on ET's uh, platform, of course. Let's take a listen to this clip with Chrissy and John. You stepped on your wife's dress. Always. This dress will be stepped on at least thirty times today. You got to be careful, because and it's not a plan, but it's a prediction. I thought maybe it was a plan, because look at that slit. If you step yeah. on it too much, you know yeah, what happens. It just might fall apart. Oh, no. It's all in the master plan. What was the react when you, you're like, honey, you're stepping on my dress? What do you say to him? Oh, it's been 11 years. I've, I'm very Every Oscar that stepped on her dress. Every train she's had, I've stepped on. Funny, hot, talented, triple threat. <laughs> that's the EGOT we all have. No, that's truly. <laughs>